गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर फॉर टू आई बी सी एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट सेमिस्टर फॉर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पैटर्न एंड नाउ हेयर द चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री थर्मल मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस इन दैट थर्मल मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टी जी ए टी जी एज नथिंग बट द थर्मोग्राफोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस नो हेयर मास और वेट इज मेजर्ड इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर so the principle is nothing but the mass of the component or mass of the sample is characterized with temperature or time now here application of tga there are numerous applications of tga the thermogrammetry is a valuable technique for assessing the purity of some materials so purity of materials that can be easily determined with the help of thermogrammetry so especially the characteristics is purity of material analytical result especially those are used in tetrametric analysis as a primary standard many primary standards absorb water at room temperature when exposed to atmosphere now some of the primary standards are hygroscopic they uh, absorb the light or you can say they absorb the water molecules from the atmosphere and uh, they become the hygroscopic so uh, thermogrammetry is useful for such a materials therefore most suitable drying temperature for a given reagent is to be determined now the drying temperature for the uh, for this primary standards are determined with the help of thermogrammetry today industries prefer the tga that is thermogrammetric analysis is one of the powerful technique in the field of environmental food pharmaceutical petrochemical agro and research in the characterization of complex material in various applications now here for complex uh, for complex material and the complex materials are useful in various applications for determining the characterization for complex material uh, of different field like environmental food pharmaceutical petrochemical agro and research uh, tga is very helpful uh, in determining such a type of uh, can say uh, 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 complex material so tga is useful for the environmental applications food applications pharmaceutical applications petrochemical applications agrochemicals agro applications and research applications also now the next point is that thermogrammetry is useful Uh, in determination of composition of binary mixtures so composition of binary mixtures can be useful or can say can be studied with the help of thermogrammetry for example if you take the calcium oxalate uh, monohydrate and magnesium oxalate dihydrate so here calcium oxalate has a three distinct regions of decomposition temperature while magnesium oxalate has a only two now the difference uh, how the binary mixtures can be studied with the help of tga that is that is has been given in this line that calcium oxalate we get uh, if we take the tga of calcium oxalate at that time we get the three we get the three distinct curve while magnesium oxalate okay, has only two so the, this is a cra cracking difference uh, with the help of this crack cracking difference we take uh, the observation and uh, we decide the determination of composition of binary mixtures now here if it uh, again uh, go to the deep into study calcium uh, oxalate monohydrate so water molecule is there uh, and magnesium oxalate dihydrate that is two water molecules are associated with the magnesium oxalate now if we uh, for the removal of water molecule the necessary heat or you can say the necessary temperature is provided and for both calcium oxalate and as well as the magnesium oxalate the two temperatures or you can say the same temperature is needful that is 100 degree centigrade to 250 degree centigrade from this you can say between this region the water molecule associated uh, to both when that means magnesium oxalate and calcium oxalate that water molecule goes to uh, goes away uh, and the remainder is only the calcium oxalate and magnesium oxalate now here when again we provide the heat uh, again we provide the heat uh, uh, at that time or 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 can say again we provide the uh, temperature to both calcium oxalate and magnesium oxalate Uh, as uh, as previously 100, uh, at 100 to 250 de degree centigrade the uh, hydrated molecules goes away and the remainder is only calcium oxalate and magnesium oxalate when we uh, again uh, go to uh, uh, with the help of furnace we provide the heat at the time at 400 degree centigrade to 500 degree centigrade only the uh, only uh, magnesium um, only the magnesium oxide is uh, remaining while in the calcium oxalate Uh, on uh, here calcium carbonate is remainder so 
uh, when we again provide the heat uh, to the calcium uh, carbonate uh, at up to 650 degrees centigrade to 800 degrees centigrade between this temperature that calcium carbonate uh, from this calcium carbonate carbon dioxide molecule is evolved so this is most important so there are three steps uh, in, involved in the tga curve of the calcium oxalate uh, monohydrate while there are the only two uh, curves because two uh, decomposition temperatures are obtained uh, in mag magnesium oxalate. So, uh, in the similar way, only two decomposition curves, you can say two decomposition, two distinct curves are obtained in the magnesium oxalate. So, this is the cracking difference how uh, the binary mixtures of calcium oxalate and magnesium oxalates are, are to be separated uh, with the help of TGA and determined with the help of TGA. In this way, I conclude this lecture. Thank you very much for your patience listening. Again, I request to my viewers and listeners to subscribe my channel uh, so that I will uh, give to you uh, in the similar videos with fully content of analytical chemistry only. Thank you very much.